They're here. <laughs> Jeff. Yes. Yes, folks, it's that time again when we gather round the fire with a creepy foreigner and his robot skeleton pal and <laughs> try and entertain you for a little while, right, Jeffy? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, we got some stuff for you tonight. What do we got tonight, oh, Jeff? Oh, we got some comedy. We got some comedy in the stylings of... We got, uh, we got Don Rickles, actually. Don Rickles is here. And, uh, let me... Well, no, 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 no. He... It, there's no point in applauding right now because he can't hear it. No. Uh, <laughs> When he comes out, applaud as much as you like, but uh, until then, it, frankly, it just sounds insincere. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, he's not here now. He's not here now. I mean, he could be watching, though. Don Rickles is always watching. <laughs> Jeff, are you implying that Don Rickles knows things about us we do not know about ourselves? Did you say he knows things about us that we don't know about ourselves? I'm saying it's possible. After all, Don Rickles was, uh, you know, very famous during the Cold War, and the CIA, I think, implanted a camera in his mind. The hell? Yeah, I, w I went too far there, didn't I? No, I was, I was going with it. Oh, okay, then. Yeah. All right. Is that right? What? Yeah, yeah, they did. They implanted a camera in his mind, and Don Rickles went behind uh, enemy lines in Russia, uh, you know, posing as a... <laughs> as a sexy barmaid and, and recorded information that was valuable to America during these dangerous post-war years. <laughs> you know, we really should try and write some crack for this show. No? no? Why start now? Yeah. Anyway, it's got to be good because Rickles is on. Rickles is funny, you know, and so even if you and I suck, which is possible, let's be honest, <laughs> then uh, Rickles will be funny. Oh, he's a legend, man. I'm so he excited. Is, yeah, he is a legend. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Applebee's. Try the new jazzed up flavors of Bourbon Street inspired dishes on Applebee's two for 20 menu. See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Relax, you already proved to me. What, what? what? My mic is off. My mic is off? What do you mean it's off? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, here, here it is. Here it is. Hang on, I'll put it on. How's that? <laughs> Can you hear me, Michael? I wonder what happened. My giant nipple must have moved the wire. <laughs> it's true, I have one giant nipple. If I'm not careful, I walk like this all day. <laughs> Right, Jeff? Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, it's like you're agreeing with me, even although you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That's correct, Craig. Wow. <laughs> Jeff, it's almost like you're a parody of a late-night sidekick. You got it, pal. <laughs> so, basically, I say whatever the hell I want, you agree with me because that's the way things are in late-night television? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> 
Then can you do one thing for me? Sure. Explain the horse. <laughs> you know, I, no one can explain that, Craig. That's an anomaly. A what, Lee? An, an anomaly. Don't use big words. It's not Robert <laughs> Frost night tonight. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what it is, though, it is a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Do you know what I'm doing? I want you to know. I want you to know something, by the way. When I do this, when I stand like this, and I go, no, no, please. You know what's in my mind? That I'm standing talking to a large woman with very apart breasts. <laughs> I'm going, hey. <laughs> So, even though it looks perfectly innocent, I'm actually having dirty thoughts right now. <laughs> the, Apple has a patent, there's, there, there's a patent out, or a patent, do you say patent or patent? I say patent. You say patent, I say patent, but I'm not originally from the United States, and where I'm from, they say patent. Well, if you say patent, then that's correct. Exactly! <laughs> there's, Apple has taken out a patent, or patent, on a new phone that they say will not break. Will not break! So, it, apparently, it has technology, and it knows when it's being dropped, and will always land the right way up, which is fantastic. Now, I will not have to keep duct-taping the phone to the cat. <laughs> yeah. Ew! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ew! I don't tape my phone to the cat. Please put the email down. <laughs> You're so cruel, I hate you. I don't even have a cat. It's, it's a joke cat. It is the cat of my imagination. It's a bit like that, that, that parrot in the Monty Python thing. That's right. It's not dead. It's pining for the fjords. <laughs> <laughs> what else is good for late night? Studies. A new study. Oh, hey, yeah. a new, have you seen this new study that's out? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> tell, tell us about that new study, I'll Craig. tell you. In the last two years, it, it, this... this <laughs> Did it sound like I cussed there? I didn't, though. Are you going to have to beep it anyway? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even cuss, though. I didn't. It was just a slip of the... A tongue. Oh, man. oh come oh. on. I didn't even cuss. Do you believe this? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I can't believe this. I'm out here trying to do the late night show thing where you say words and jokes and stuff and <laughs> your, you know, your sidekick agrees with you and your horse is there and, and the band which doesn't exist. CBS cares. They may do, Jeff, just not about us. Are, are we even on the air still? <laughs> Ask yourself, this is kind of an existentialist question, but if we're not on the air, do you care? Does it matter? Are we relevant? Are we relevant anyway? You know, a middle-aged white guy in a creepy appliance on TV in the middle of the night? Does that even, does that even matter to anyone? Is that important? Does, I mean, what's it all about, man? It's all about straightening breasts. <laughs> You know, that's true, actually. It, yeah. it, it is kind of about that. You want to, because sometimes I see breasts that are just higgledy piggledy. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's just, I got some spit at the front of my mouth there when I was talking. Did that ever happen to you? Yo, uh, I was just no. like talking and then suddenly I was like, I, thought, I better catch it before it hits the camera. <laughs> Luckily, I have a very muscular tongue. <laughs> I'm thinking, how, how far should I go with this? Huh? How far should I go with the muscular tongue thing? Huh? I, mean, the straight, do you, I mean, do you do the muscular tongue before or after you straighten the breast? That's also... Well, you, you can go as far with that tongue as you do every night in my dressing room. Uh, wait, wait. That was too far. All right. Yeah, but see, I take the hit for you, you see. It's off your shoulders. You don't have to worry about it. What do you mean, what do you, mean you take that for me? You did the crappy joke about yeah, that, and then, yeah. and then I take the hit for you. I take the hit for no, you, man, man. I take the hit for How you. How dare you, man? No, I'm here for you, man. I bid you adieu. <laughs> well, uh, hold on. Tonight's 
monologue brought to you by ADD. Think it through. <laughs> you know, I haven't had such a good time at this show. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time. We have a good time. Yeah, yeah, we do have a good time. I'll tell you why we're on a good time tonight. Why is that? Because finally Robert Frost Night is, is, is behind oh, us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when was that again? When, Robert Frost Night? When did we do that? Uh, my, last, it was last night? Uh, it it seems bad. like only a few hours ago. <laughs> Yeah, that's too bad. I had a, I had a poem for that. It's a you have a poem for a yeah, no, Well, let's hear it then. Share it with you, if you don't mind. The TV beside the wall is bare, its screen now filled with snow. It seems the network did not care for the late, late show. Wait, wait, wait. Do not clap for that, bitches. <laughs> I think it's called the audience bitches. <laughs> the hell? Now, I, don't, I don't like using that word. I apologize for using it. I don't think that's nice, so I apologize. Very sorry, on behalf of Craig. <laughs> the views expressed by me are not endorsed by me. They are instead endorsed by me. I take full responsibility. You see, here's how it works. I'm the uh, douche behind the desk. He's the douche behind the podium. The douche behind the podium takes responsibility for the douche behind the desk, correct? That's correct. Okay, so let's one more time. The pestle with the poison is in the flagon with the dragon. <laughs> I don't know this one. Oh, it's the court jester. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's a court jester. It's Danny, Danny K. Kay movie. Danny K. Da and that's tonight's joke for the elderly, everybody. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny K says it in the movie. Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, this is from, uh, oh, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Uh, it's sweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who thought the movie Hitchcock was about a rooster with a catch. <laughs> no, 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 no. I thought it was about a wandering penis. <laughs> that's, a, that's an old song. What's that? The old song, Wandering Penis. <laughs> I was born... Under a one brand <laughs> All right, this is from Adrian and Pala Cala Pala. Uh, uh, this is from Mark in uh, De Plain in Illinois. De Plain. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, have you, ever, you ever been there? Love it there. Oh, it's, what's your favorite part of De Plain? The, uh, the south portion, very you know, nice. Do you know what I always like about De Plain is that it always reminds me of Fantasy Island. <laughs> <laughs> deep, deep plane, deep plane. The plane, the plane, yeah. the plane. <laughs> Quiet tattoo. <laughs> Welcome to Fantasy Island. <laughs> and that might qualify as another joke for another old joke people. Another joke for the elderly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dear uh, Craig and his friendly robot sidekick Jeff, uh, why do so many people like dancing shows on television? I think they're boring. Me too! <laughs> Were you dancing there? Is yeah, that you man. dancing? Yeah, do it again. Just waiting for that music cue. <laughs> you should be on Dancing with the Stars. Oh, we should do it together, man. No, no, we shouldn't. No. Uh, <laughs> this is from Maud in San Antonio. You ever. Uh... Maud, like that, like that TV show, Maud? <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, that, that was a while ago, buddy. They were, uh, they were right on the ball with that one. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it's a, uh, it's someone who is elderly on the button for the joke for the elderly thing. <laughs> no.
<laughs> you know, we should really write some of the crocky. Oh, yeah. Or at least rehearse or something. Uh, wh why start now? Yeah, you're right. Anyway, Maud in San Antonio says, Howdy from Texas. I see en enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> this is from Ira in Wilmington, North Carolina. Oh, that's one of my favorite Carolinas. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, what's, yeah. Your, what's the other one? I like the South. South Carolina? South what Carolina. about the other one? Yeah, the North is all right. There's the East. <laughs> I'm not reading any tonight, and I'll tell you why. Why? Well, I'm feeling crotchety. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I call my penis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. I don't have a name for my penis. Conquistador. I don't. <laughs> I think that's creepy. You know, ladies, let me tell you something. If you, you know, start, if you're dating a guy and he has a name for his genitals, get out of there. <laughs> Good sign. It's not a good sign. If, even like I went to this doctor once. Who? Well, a chiropractor. It's not a real doctor. Look forward to your letters. But the uh, <laughs> this chiropractor, and he was like, you know, he he was asking me about my body before he did the thing. He's like, how's your arms? How's your legs? You know, doctory talk. I was like, oh, this, that, this, that. And he said, and how's Mr. Happy? And I'm like, <laughs> who, who's, who's that? Uh, Mr. Is that a children's entertainer? What are you talking about? And he went, you know, downstairs, you're... I said, penis? And he went, yes. And I went, you're I a doctor, man. <laughs> Just say penis. You're a doctor. Don't have to, I'm not going to be offended if a doctor uses the medically correct word for that part of the body. And he's like, well, you know, I don't want to get too intimate. I'm like, you're a doctor! <laughs> so I left that bar. See what I did, yeah? I turned it around right there. Turned it around, turned it right around. <laughs> Good stuff, boss. That sounded insincere. No, man, I'm, I'm here to help. Which, coincidentally, is the name of my stand-up special on Netflix, available now. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. guest tonight. What is he, Jeff? Oh, he's a legend. He's a legend, all right. He's one of the all-time great comedians. He's performing March 29th at the Wild Horse Pass Casino in Chandler, Arizona. Oh, yeah. We've played that, haven't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a good one. And the, uh... <laughs> it is. It is. I know that one. It's very, whoa. And the, uh, April the 13th and 14th, he'll be at the Orleans in Las Vegas. That's a good one. Please welcome the legend that is Don Rickles, everybody! <laughs> That's enough. You oh, get them all big-headed before we start, then it's going to be crazy. How you doing, Don? Wait a minute, I'm talking to the audience. What? The applause was... I thought it was pretty Next good. Time, I'm not talking to you. Okay, okay. Next time, throw the clothes in the air, okay? No, you were very sweet and very kind, really. And I said, sweetie, uh, give me that big applause because I'm not staying long. Okay. Got to talk to Scotland here and hope it goes over. Okay. I'm sitting right here, man. I well, can you, hear you. I can you hear yelling? you. You're yelling. I was in the back. Everything with you. It's the doctor. You're going crazy. Well, I'm scared. Well, get abroad and go home early. <laughs> he's, he's married with a kid, but he don't know it. Anyway. Two. Two kids. You have two kids? Two kids, oh. yeah. Since the last time I saw you, there's been another one. Oh, gee. Yeah, yeah. Do you, you wear... Just, huh? You wear the pajamas? Do I wear the kiddie pajamas? No, you wear the regular long, long pants pajamas? Uh, yeah. And then you do the... And then you do the parachute trick, right? 
<laughs> no, what's the parachute trick? I mean, I've got one breast larger well, than the other, but what's the... You couldn't handle it. Jews only do it. You couldn't handle it. <laughs> So is, is it something to do with... Shut up. Oh, my yeah, come on! <laughs> why with this? Why? Get, with... Getting on my nerves. I don't no, know why, why I'm I'm getting here. on your nerves. I'm just trying to be nice. <laughs> look at the audience here. Look at look, look, the front. The, the dummy, he's sitting there going... <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what's going on, for crying out loud. If they knew what's going on, they wouldn't be here, would it's they? Nah, the no, you're a good guy. You're all right. <laughs> all those other guys are having trouble in New York. Everybody was switching shows. You're going to be here in spite of what the people say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's, I, I'm, I'm going. Your, your career in a new theater, it's great. I wish you luck. It's nice in here, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 I mean, it's fancy. Made to fix your dress, huh? Anyway, uh. <laughs> What's wrong with the dress? Well, the, one, the one over there, the one that has the dress up where she's smiling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding you. She didn't yeah. even know I'm talking to you. You're very stunning. <laughs> <laughs> Judge the lady in the uh, in the audience. That's what? not right. This is Germany. Hitler's dead. What? Well, why? I can do whatever I want. For well, yeah, There's a Jewish kid. I said Hitler, and his glasses fogged up. Look at that. Kid. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that kid there. The, you know the one with the nose sucking up the rug. Hey, hey. Now come on. Now we've moved on. What are you begging me? I know what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. a Jew. You're, what, what are you? You're Episcopal. What are you? What the hell are you? Sco uh, Scottish. I see. I am. I asked him a question and he panicked. Um, 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 I, I don't think I'm, it's I'm fair. Scottish, Scottish, Scottish. Yeah. I don't think it's fair to say that I panicked. I just, you know, I was trying to present you with the information which was accurate. Oh, really? It? Yes. <laughs> Mom and Dad are going hunting Friday. <laughs> oh, gee. Okay, it's your turn. All right. Uh, I got to do the questions and the answers for crying out loud. You seem to be quite happy doing it. I, that, I'm just letting you get on with it. That's all. I, the Orleans, you're going back to the Orleans. That's a great place. Oh, it's a great, that's, great, that's fantastic, that stage well, it's, there. It's Vegas. You know, Vegas is the, what it's all about. Do you know you're the record breaker in Vegas now? You're the, Am I? Yes, you are. Yeah. I get the feeling I'm talking to a waiter. <laughs> if this late night war continues the way it's going, you might well be talking to a waiter. <laughs> <laughs> God love you, God love you. Uh, yeah. Can I just tell you about our... Can I just tell you about no, you, our you specials turned, today? You, you, yeah, turned on me. <laughs> you turned on me. Now you're trying to cover it up, but you turned no, on me. No, I did not. Got a little nasty, a little turned on me. I did not me, you know? turn on you. No, it's okay. I, 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 for you. I can handle it. Jew, shoot him. Hey. Hell. <laughs> turned on me. What were you going to say? I was going to tell you about our specials. I think that's what I was going to do. I, I can't remember. The, and also the Wild Horse Pass Casino. That's that's a good one. <laughs> it is. It is. I've been there. It's really good. I have been there. I swear. It's really good. Do you have a good doctor? Uh, he's frightened to say penis. Horse. I know the Wild Horse Casino. I worked there. I worked in every. You know, and it's we're lucky. You work there too. It's all Indians. God bless them. Really. They c you come up to the hotel and they go. Okay, I know. Okay, well, well, well. And, and you go to your room, you wash their pony, and you go to bed. So I just heard they cancelled the White Horse Pass Casino game. Here's your pass. Yeah, come on. Come on. Pass this. Remember that in New York? Anybody from New York? No wonder. No, you're no wonder. Not. No, you're not. No wonder it's quiet. <laughs> two, two cockamamie Italians in the back. We, we, we are God bless you. Be from New York. I'm, I was originally there, and I moved here. I've got a big house now with hunting dogs and a Jewish wife that runs and cleans the lawn. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but we're doing good now. Yeah, yeah but Again with the waiter. Stop with this crap. It's, uh, it's body language. I'm trying to remain open to your... No, I was at your house. You don't have to make open to me. I moved house. I moved house. Did you really? I moved house. Remember you were at my house and you didn't the let you... No, the steps was killing me. Well, yeah. I moved to a place with... No, he, he had me invited, invited to his house, and I'm not a kid anymore, and going upstairs is not easy. And he has on each floor... A doctor saying, come on, try to reach the medicine. <laughs> anyway, uh... Well, can I tell you, I know how to throw a party, <laughs> but they, uh... But the new house, you can just, you can just walk right in. Not you, but the, you, you can you just walk right in. You can drive right up, walk right in. Really? Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. You come to the new yeah, one, you'll yeah, be fine. You wait, you wait for me. 
Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you come in my house? Because I'm too big. I don't no, need your oh, come house. Come on, man. You come to my house. You and Barbara come to my house. Everybody thinks I'm doing well in show business. You yeah. come to my house. I came to your house when you had that funny outfit on and playing trick or treat with the maid. I remember that. <laughs> that's not. That's not me. That's Schwarzenegger. That's not me. That's the other. Isn't it great? He got off one good one. <laughs> Listen, uh, we have to go to a uh, commercial break. Do whatever you want. I, I'm, I'm leaving. I, no, you, no, you can't. No, you, in two segments. Two segments. Oh, two, you agree? Two, what a two, two segments. Two segments. Okay. Two segments. Well, look at the old, the old people over there. <laughs> Get something for the old lady. She's starting to go. <laughs> when they start wheezing and leaving their mouth open, it's trouble. <laughs> I, th I think she's just excited. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I Don Rickles, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm here with... Uh, Don Rickles. Now listen, uh, I got I got here, Don. Uh, I have photographs that were uh, of you. Look at that. You there's you right there. Look at you. Look how adorable you yeah. are. Look at that. That's that's my wife, and that's yeah. Lee Liberace, a great friend of his, and he was hey, wonderful. I never I never met Liberace, but I went to his museum. Did you? Yeah, it's got a lot of his stuff in there. I think that he m might have been gay. a career and you can go on by yourself all right <laughs> now, here's another one i like this one look at that this is uh this is you with uh look well, that's bob dylan right that's there. right that's right bruce springsteen yeah, right? bruce the man were you guys in a band uh, together <laughs> <laughs> you know something well i'm getting ready to slap oh, see <laughs> like, this is always the same you always yeah, with the smart remark i will man bruce springsteen by the way is a great performer and this gentleman of course is a great artist that's that's well, a long time ago when we all had a couple of vodkas and Told each other how great we were. <laughs> yeah, drinking great. with uh, with Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, well, he's from Jersey. Bob he Dylan? don't know what time it is unless you give him a drink. For <laughs> Puts on the gloves. America, America. Where's you think we're living in Spain? We know where else. Yeah. Keeps yelling, America, America. You know. He's, he's got other songs, man. Give him a break. He's an American legend. What are you, a, a war veteran? <laughs> I was in the service. Were you? I <laughs> you weren't in there, sir. I was in there saving your canary. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was in World War II. <laughs> I know. That's true. That's true. Those, those, those pictures they don't show. Two and a half years in the USS Cyrene in the Philippines, and the Japanese came over to me and said, "Oh, my children need toys." <laughs> anyway, uh, two years in the jungle so this guy can have a show. Hey! Hey, oh, come yeah. on! And I said, I do jokes. I did. I said, I'm an entertainer. And the guy went, entertainer? I'd like to sort of be in special service. Special service. Okay. And I'd like to do some comedy and have a band, and a comedy and a band. Okay. Next thing you know, I'm in the Philippines, and the guy says, keep firing. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that really true? I swear to God, I was <laughs> on a, a, a 20 millimeter gun. Like you, you younger guys, if you know the service, you know, it'd come in little cases, and I had to put it, boom, in the gun. You know, Jewish kid, we don't do that. We had a, a maid go, lift that. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give me a, a minute. I, I said something that made me laugh. <laughs> yeah. How about that, huh? Made yourself laugh. Uh, Look at you, Mr. Professional. Right. <laughs> Every night before the show in Vegas, I sit up in my room and I laugh my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I had a 20 millimeter gun, and the guy said, yeah, this is where you do it. You put it in a casing, and when the Japanese fly, you know, bum, 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 you know. And I said, I, Captain, I don't do that. He said, no, I goes, just, just what I tell you. And every time the plane's gone, it's going, bum, 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 bum. And then I put the casing down and said, can I get in show business? I want to be in show business. <laughs> And they kept attacking. They kept attacking. <laughs> no, but they're wonderful people today, and it was, it was a great experience. You, you were in Scotland inside your mother. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Don Rickles, everybody! Welcome back, 
Kibbity, welcome back. Welcome back to the Don Rickles experience. Do you know, that's, do you see that guy? That was amazing, man. Yeah, yeah, it's all right for you, man. He's sitting there insulting me the whole time. Yeah, like I said, that was amazing. Yes. <laughs> My next uh, guest is a very beautiful and talented actress. She's currently to be seen in theatres in the movie Olympus Has Fallen. She stars in Red Widow, which airs Sundays on ABC. Please welcome the terrific Radha Mitchell, everybody. Radha Mitchell. Just sensational, may I say. Yeah, but you say that to everyone, right? Uh, no, not everyone. I didn't say it to Rickles. I think I tried to. <laughs> well, he looks all right. He's, yeah, no, he looks he fine. He's kind of mean to you, though. He's always mean to me. I don't know what it is. Like, when we're not on camera, he's, he's so, so sweet. sweet and lovely. He's my friend. He comes yeah. to my house. I feed him little tidbits. And then... <laughs> And then when, when the cameras are on, he's like, da, 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 da. So grumpy. Yeah, yeah. Do you have anyone like that in your life who's mean to you when other people are around, but nice to you when you're on your own? Uh, uh, uh my manager? Yeah. No, he's here tonight. He's so evil. Do no, I was going to say, do you need a hug after Whoa, all that? Yes, oh, I do. Yes, okay. I do. Oh. Oh. oh, I was wondering. No, I'm sitting here. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I feel good now. Oh, so do I. Was I. A bit uh, nervous. Really cheered me up. Did you notice my extremely large nipple on one side? I, I felt something. Yeah, I know. Sorry my about shoulder. that. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Where I've have you been, been? I've been. I've been here. I've been making my TV show. I've been. Oh yeah. yeah. Shreveport. I've been in. Shreveport, Louisiana. Yeah. I've been I love it down there. Yeah, I and do also too. in Louisiana. You do. <laughs> when we. Has a population of 200,000 people, but they have their own uh, movie studio. They have their and own air force base. And they've got a little airport there, which they I've landed in a little plane. And they have casinos. Yeah, they have casinos. As what well. were you doing there? In a little plane? Yeah. I like to fly little planes sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, I know. I've got a pilot's license. It's crazy. You can just get them at the store. That's so impressive. That's so impressive. Have you ever flown a plane? I've never flown a plane, but I have a fantasy about flying a plane. What does it look like? I get in a plane and I fly it. Well, you should learn. You've yeah, got money. You've got the TV fine. shows and the movies. You can do it. Okay, okay. It's not that expensive. You've inspired me. Yeah, you should. Take flying lessons. Okay. And then land in uh, Shreveport, Louisiana. It's a nice little airport. they got a vending machine right there. <laughs> I'd go back there. I like it there, actually. Yeah, yeah. No, it was nice. Did you make... You didn't make the Olympus Has Fallen, Olympus then, did Olympus Has Fallen was made there because it looks so much like... Uh, Washington, Washington D.C. Yeah, I didn't notice that when I was there, but fair enough. <laughs> Uh, yeah. My friend Jerry Butler was in the movie with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, oh he's Did he hit on you? He hits on everybody. He I know. Didn't hit on I, me. He didn't yeah. hit on me. I was insulted. I was like, what? Now that would be his tactic. And I was like Gerard, who, right? Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, sorry. I that call him Jer yeah, yeah, right. Gerard. Yeah, Gerard. Yeah. Gerard. Um, Butler. No, but I, it did make sense because he had a very gorgeous, like, uh, Victoria's Secret model on set who was there every day, and, and you know, keeping an eye on him. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that doesn't sound like the Jerry I know. Not at all. Wait a minute. Yes, that sounds exactly like the Jerry I know. Well, that's nice. Did you have a nice time making the film? Was, was he nice? Lovely. It was great. You know, I really. Morgan Freeman's in the movie. Morgan isn't? Freeman's in the movie. He plays the vice president. Really? What would that sound like, Jeff? Well, uh, Olympus is falling. <laughs> that horse. Secretary. What's up with the horse? He's not here right now, but I was no, wondering, well, is it always the same people in the horse, or is it different people? What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you talking about? You get anything you want to say about Santa as well? What the hell's wrong with you? Are you lonely, or what is it? Why do you have... Uh, you've got... Things have changed. Look. I'm, it's been a long time since we've done let this. Me, I'll, I've gone through this before. I'll do it yeah. again. I work okay. in late night television. It is uh -huh. a tired genre. I am a Jungian, and what I have a here Jungian? is... A Jungian? A Jungian, yes. Okay. So he is. 
Well, I did. It's my accent. Uh, a uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm a Jungian or a Jungian, depending. And okay. what I like to do is have a sort of dream-like environment and also mock the very genre to which I belong. Oh. Therefore, my sidekick agrees with everything. He is a robot, but he's also the mocking presence of death. Do you see? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the Reminding me that everything is transient. The and horse the is a sexual fantasy. <laughs> I not it. directly. It's it's not a direct sexual fantasy. It's not like I'm sexually attracted to horses. But you know, no, I'm not. But but the horse, you know, it, it implies virility, virility and, yes. and sexuality. Big and, teeth. And big teeth. America. Yes. Something. Uh, and and America. Yes. America. All right. Yeah. Because I was hoping I could dance. I mean, I saw you dancing with the horse before I leave. Could I dance with the horse too? Perhaps. <laughs> Yes, uh, I don't know where the horse maybe, is going, though. I've no never seen the stable that. door closed. Perhaps away. milk has been spilled. Something's happened. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so it looks like you've, been you've, you've got friends here now. You're not alone, so that's nice. <laughs> Are you mocking me? It's a tough job. I, I mean, I get so nervous just coming on the show. I can just imagine what it's like for you. So it must be very nice having the sidekick and the. You are mocking me. Yeah. I don't get. I don't get nervous doing this show. Not at all. Not at all. That's I'm not nervous now. Right. That's a little great. bit. Yeah, a little bit. You're I think not, I'm, I'm not nervous at all. You've done it too all, many no? times. Yeah. 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 And you intend to keep doing it and doing it. How many years have you been doing it now? Nine years now. Nine years. Yeah. yeah. Here's oh, to nine don't. more years. Yeah. Yeah. Like, really? Well, they told, me, they told me how old you were before I came on the show, and I figured I'm not going to mention it, because then you're going to ask me how old I, I am. I would and never ask a lady how old she is. Never, never. Well, because we're on the subject of mortality somewhat. We've mentioned him. They're like, we should be counting our hours at this point, don't you think? To, to, <laughs> to, to, to what? <laughs> to the end, my friends. There you <laughs> I mean, if you work out the percentage of, of how much time we have left on the planet, and, and you and I are now going to spend maybe five minutes, is it, together right now? What percentage? No, I think is we're that? done, actually. <laughs> No, no, sweetheart, we, we are done. I mean, it's like, it, it, it's, you know, it's not you, it's me. So I'm not allowed to come back? Yes, you are. You can come back after the commercial break, which we have to take. Oh, God, all right. <laughs> what is it? We'll be right back. We'll be right back. We learned on the show that Radha would like to dance with Secretariat. We don't have much time, so let's begin. Let's do it. <laughs> 